guys, welcome to our channel, Explore You Out. I'm Miraculous Girl. Join me and my dad where we explore six gifts and lessons, the outdoors, getting equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching. Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So, as the title suggested, we are doing a Pockle Box from December of 2023. This one just kind of got away from us. We were going to do a live, and the schedule just didn't permit it, you know, because you don't want to do a live at 1 o'clock in the afternoon or whatnot. So, we're going to kind of go old school on this, and we're just going to unbox this uh, the way we were doing it before we started doing the lives. So, sorry about that, but we're going to be doing a live Battle Box unboxing for Mission 108. We're going to do Apocalypse Box Plus for February of 2024. And then we got um, Grim Workshop coming and a few other things here and there to review. So let's get into this. This is Apocalypse Box Plus from uh, December of 2023. And sorry for the delay. Oh, and by the way, join our Facebook group, the Battle Box Board, the page of more. We talk about Apocalypse Box there too. All right, so here it is. This is what it looks like. I kind of forgot. I knew what was in here and I kind of forgot. So here's the cards and the plus box, the additional items. So let's go ahead and set this aside so we got some room to work with here. And start going into some of these items. So here's the card. He doesn't usually put values on these, I don't believe. No, he doesn't. And it goes through the list of items. And I'll take some still shots of this, and there's a sneak peek right there. I'll take some still shots of this and, and post it at the end of the video. So our first item is the takedown pack pull. And this is the takedown pack pull. Now I've seen some people did a few little modifications on this. And I'm going to go back and check it out again because they have... They really made some cool little modifications, but let's see if I can put this together real quick. Now, a couple of things I know is there is a hidden compartment in here. And I'm going to look at it. It has instructions here as well that I have to take out, but kind of get the gist of it just by looking at it. There's a little grommet hole in here for you to put your, your and they already got some pre-made holes here for these screws that I just took out. Now you might want to do some wing nuts stuff because you start screwing these wood screws in and out multiple times and they're going to start the holes are going to start having issues here can make it so that would swing around too so you have that part there and then he's got this part set up and I got a feeling my Swiss Army knife might not work because this one's a fat Swiss Army knife. He has this set up on this side to go in this way and I'm going to look real quick just to make sure says the rod tip is from steam bent white oak barrel and it's thinner oh this one's gonna make it I think it's hard to say and then the other thing you got here and again 
little wing nuts, put some bolts on the inside here, is you have a little hidden compartment here for fishing gear or whatever. And you can probably haul this out and make it a little bit bigger if you so desire. Um, it's very lightweight. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know, is it better than taking a small aluminum telescoping pole, I, you know, that, which would take up less room and has a real reel? I don't know, but it's kind of cool, kind of bushcrafty, you know, so there's that. So that is your, he calls it the Swedish pimple pole. Where do they find these names? And this is made by Reptile Tool Works. So I'm sure we'll get comments about that. But anyway, so we'll side that up around. And again, he doesn't put values on that. I don't know, price of wood anymore. It might be kind of high. All right, so next up we have Mountain Man Money. All right, these are kind of cool. Now these are these little uh, washcloth things. I have a big bag of these. And I think it's awesome. I had never thought, this is one of those little fireproof match starters and these things fit right inside here. I, and I remember thinking, well, how clever that somebody figured out to use this matchbox holder to hold these little uh, towels. And I figure I have a big bag of these. So let's get some water and test these out. Okay, so we have some water. And we're going to test out one of these. This would have been fun to do during a live. And it reminds me of those little sponges that, or what are they, little towels and stuff. You can get them at the dollar store that expand when you get them wet. But, so this expands out to a nice little wet wipe type of towel. Try not to get my entire filming area soaking wet here see how big out we get this and it might list the size on here but I don't want to read that but here you go so you got this little and depending on how dirty you get this you could probably reuse it this would be great when camping and stuff takes up a little bit of space um, let's see Save your socks, shirts, and pockets. These compact pellets expand with little water, create moist towel that can be used as paper or wet wipe. The pocket size waterproof container holds seven, providing you with eight days of hygiene cover with days of hygiene. Uh, contains 14 total pellets and a waterproof container. I, you know what? I think it's pretty awesome. It's a nice little item. One would probably even fit in that fishing pole. Anyway. So there's that item, set that aside. The Mountain Man, Mountain Money. I still think it's clever that somebody figured out that that fit in there. And then let's see, next up we have a book about how to make a buck saw. And I have been looking for, I have a, a little mini kind of hacksaw buck saw that Creek sent out um, years ago. And I don't know what I did with it. I'm going to find that thing. It's been frustrating me. But it has lots of instructions on how to make a buck saw. And I, I have a couple of those. Carrying one of these razor blades and stuff is, uh, or saw blades is, is really, uh, could come in handy. You can see lots of different ways that you can make them. You can make them just, you don't have to make a buck saw. You can make a bow saw out of those things. And on that note, one of the things, and again, I don't know, the Hutchinson Press, sometimes books have prices on the inside, because like I said, Creek doesn't put any values on here. This is by Calvin Logan. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know anyone named Calvin Logan myself, but anyway, so that's really cool. Ready, set, adventurebox.com. For more field manuals, I'm going to have to look that up. I've never heard of that. So next up, to go along with that, 
we have a buck saw blade and this blade and it comes with a little protective cover looks like a fairly aggressive 24 inch bow saw blade and that will work a lot better than a hacksaw blade that looks like it's designed to remove some serious material so um, there is that and that's pretty cool and then next up we have an EDC pocket saw and again I you know a value on this I could give this maybe a $7.99 value and the same goes for this right here the basic box the regular box costs 50 bucks so you're getting this you get the book books anymore go for 15 to 20 bucks this is a pretty thick book um, so you're probably at a good $25 mark here give or take you know and I could be estimating a little low all right so EDC pocket saw so this is a little saw it looks almost like a hacksaw blade I don't it's not overly aggressive or sharp as you can see I'm running my finger across there or thumb but it says be ready for anything kind of one of Creek's mottos and I usually have a Swiss Army knife and, and when I'm in the outdoors I always have a Swiss Army knife that has and a saw blade this one is one of my smaller uh, Swiss Army knives and a lot of times if you're when I'm camping I'll take one of my 111 millimeters or my 139 millimeter Swiss Army knives you know and then you even got a more aggressive saw blade on it I mean this is thin and lightweight you could throw it in some sort of bag or something just as a little backup or something but I usually have something like this on me most of the time so I'm not kind of a fan of that particular little one I don't know I mean a few bucks on that I guess um let's see next up active skin repair oh so first aid item cleansing body spray active skin repair athletic cleansing body spray so is it a cleaner used for minor skin irritations this is a retired doctor recommended and clinically proven formulated HOC medical grade product used in hospitals helps support the body's natural healing process no petroleum harsh chemicals or added fragrances so it doesn't smell like anything it doesn't feel oily kind of just feels like water here's the labels <laughs> you guys can freeze frame that and read that but I'm gonna try and read these ingredients right here hypochlorous acid electrolyted water sodium oak ride and phosphates so it's it's a uh, kind of a, a wash in my opinion but there you go so there's that and let's see what's next here Drosky string 12 by 6 possum pouch all right so and what is this Made in Wheeling, West Virginia, opossumpouch.com. These drawstring ditty bags are perfect um, weather-resistant pouches to store and protect your gear. Made from seven ounces of wax canvas. It's very well wax canvas, that's for sure. Um, so you got the wax canvas pouch. So that is, and you know, don't confuse this opossum pouch with tough possum gear that's two totally different companies just throwing that out there I like the tough possum gear stuff but anyway uh, and Creek has his own new logo on here that makes up his name so there's that so that's everything and I'm gonna say maybe 15 bucks on that so in all I'm gonna say you're getting your fifty dollars worth I've always said if you're looking for the top line best gear out there 
don't get a pocket box. It's usually about the projects and stuff. I'm going to have to fool around a little bit with this uh, little fishing pole thing here and see how um, mod what modifications I might come up with it for that and how the others did it. I think I want to say the one person had the real part up here at the top, which made it work a little bit easier. But uh, you could probably even put an eyelid on there. I don't know. Anyway, a uh, couple other items that are included. Let's see here. Did I miss anything? Um, the, the survival challenge thing is making a bow saw. He always has a challenge on there. And I may do that. I don't know. I got a lot of projects uh, in line. He also sent out a Bushcraft 10% off code for the um, Mountain Man money for those towels. You can find those on Amazon and stuff. But he sent out a coupon for that. And his online outdoor core online courses. There's that in there. And then a Christmas blessings card with a picture of his family. And... You know, I've seen the videos of his kids and his wife and his parents helping pack the boxes and stuff like this. This is something that they do as a family. A lot of the other stuff he does. They recently, his daughter put out a coloring book, which I thought was was pretty cool. Um, so I, that's one of the reasons I kind of continue to support him. Um, because you're getting your $50 worth, I, I feel like. I, but you're not going to get, you know... $300 value out of the $50 box or anything like that. But so that's the the basic box. Is there's two of these and I want to say there was some discussion about this. That everyone got different ones. The wild his wild edibles and plants and stuff and this one's called common comfrey and it's something I've not, I've not heard of. It has little flowers um it says it grows, it's pre-annual, it does grow in California. Part of the reason I stopped getting his one edible plant thing is because nothing was in California, and that's where I'm on the, or even the west side. Um, talks about how to recognize them, how to find them, and how to harvest and prepare them, and even how to make a solve for them. So... But they are edible parts and stuff like that. So anyway, that is an item, kind of bonus item, that isn't even mentioned in any of the pricing on that. And he usually sells the, these sheets for like $6.99 or something. So the first item up here is from Cold Steel. And this is like a name brand product here, Cold Steel. And I saw somebody else recently have one of these. It comes with a ferro rod, so that's cool. Uh, that sticks in there. The ferro rod has a lanyard hole. And we got a ferro rod. And this is a spear tip. It's got enough hand purchase on it that you can uh, use this as a knife. You can, I could probably make a handle for this. But it's by it's called the Cold Steel Bushman. I'm gonna strike I want to strike the ferro rod just because it's a ferro rod. I gotta strike it. Um this from outdoor element. So this is a key with a striker on it. All right, I'll slow-mo that. It'll be fun. So... You got that, and this Bushman cold steel blade here. There are no joints or seams between the blade and the handle. Instead, the Bushman's blade and handles are forged out of a single piece of SK-5 high carbon steel. The result knives are expertly heat treated and tempered to RC-54, Rockwell Hardness 54, and then subject to test to have stood over two tons of pressure on their blade handle transition. Every Bushman has to be caref carefully ground to an extra thin edge and then honed and buffed by hand until razor sharp. 
Their hollow handles will accept survival supplies or a variety of extensions which can maximize reach, leverage, or ease of throwing. The Bowie comes complete with a secure EX sheath which houses a high quality ferrous seam rod. I am, you could, you can make a real knife out of that. You know what, I don't have a lot of cutting stuff here but I wouldn't call it razor sharp, but it's sharp. I only have one piece of paracord sitting here and it's quite small, but I will give it a little bit of a slice. Maybe. Well, there you go. So it cut. So, hey, that, that, there's that. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. And I actually saw somebody talking about this. You know what? I'll leave it laid out like that. I, I saw somebody talking about this, showing this. And then the other item we got, and I am, again, I'm, all right, I'm going to Google that on Amazon right now and see how much that that sells for on Amazon. Here it is on Amazon, and it shows $21.77. So that's kind of cool. Oh, mini tactical Bowie from Cold Steel. Sorry, didn't mean to start shopping. All right, so you got that. Now the other item that you have here is you have... A sewing kit okay these are always kind of handy to have even just for a travel bag and whatnot so this is a bushcraft sewing kit I don't know what makes it bushcraft beyond just calling it that uh, it comes with three colors of thread and there's two sewing needles up there in the top so you got a OD green black and and white in the thread and what else do we got in here we got some of those little folding scissors so a little pair of these little folding scissors which again I always have a Swiss Army knife with me wonder how well they cut let's try They cut, so bonus, they work. These have a little thing you could tie around it, keep them somewhere else. You have four buttons, two small ones, one's white, one's kind of an amber color, two big black buttons, and two safety pins. So it's a little sewing kit, a little emergency sewing kit. Sometimes I pick these up. This one has a lot more thread in it. And it seems like it's a heavier duty thread. Maybe that's what makes it bushcraft. And that's about it. All right, guys. Well, uh, so this is a pocket box. You know, I might, I've i been on the fence about keeping a pocket box for a while now. I don't, I keep doing it because I like Creek. I think I like his family. I like kind of what he stands for. And, and so that's why I continue to support him. You know, I don't need any of the gear, uh, but I just do it for fun. We do it for fun. And I apologize for missing our live unboxing on this one. And we will do that with the next one. We will be going live with the Apocalypse Box for February of 2024, the first one of 2024. And that should be fun. And we'll be doing Battle Box here too. Depending on which one shows up first, my money's on Battle Box, but showing up first. Apocalypse Box usually doesn't show up till about the 20th of the month. So we're still about a month away from that. All right, guys, well, join our Facebook group, the Battle Box Spoiler page, and more. We talk about Opaka Box. We talk about other stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, and just uh, hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and be nice to each other.